Hello everybody, this is Open World Addict here, and today I am coming to you with some Sin Airport. Before I get started, um, make sure that's not too loud. Yeah, I, I, just, I just picked up this game. Um, the Steam uh, Winter Sale, which I did a few days ago, and I love simulators, and I love, um, I love economic simulators, all kinds of things, and so I decided to record my first go at the, doing the tutorial. So that, so that, um, while I'm learning how this game works and how to do things, I could share that experience with you, and maybe if you're interested in building up an uh, airport and stuff like that, uh, you can kind of learn as well. So, um, yeah, let's just go. So... That was the basic system airport. There we go. Welcome to Sim Airport. This is the first of the easy tutorial. Throughout, there will be Helpful images available by clicking the blue info icon with the arrow. This airport is Lerny Hill's gateway to the world. Its small terminal has the basics, transport, ticketing, security at departure lounge, a broken aircraft gate, and a baggage collection. Problem is, they never finished building it. Uh, okay. Welcome to... I don't have to say that. This is the next page, basically. Use WASD. Arrow, key, arrow keys. Or move the treasure to the edge of the screen. Now, I'd rather... In these kind of games, I'd rather move with the uh, with the keyboard. So you can even hold down the middle of the mouse button to move your cursor. I'd rather not do. In the option screen, you can adjust how about these controls and move the camera. You can also change which keys do what commands. You can move the tutorial window by holding the left mouse button and dragging it to the new position. That's good to know. Something changed? Okay, I, I missed what the rest of it said. I don't know what happened. But this combat simulation can be simple to understand if you take a few moments to get a good look. Look around the interface. You have general stats at the top. Time controls in the, in the top right. Which most likely I'll be playing it at the slowest speed because... I have trouble processing information that qu too quickly, and so I let, like, things get out of hand when they move too quickly. You have general uh, um, time controls on the right, top right, various airport operations on the bottom left, and a selection of heat mounts to the right. Press escape to close any top window. This not work with the tutorial window. Found 
The foundations of construction. One of the most important aspects of cement work is construction. Objects and structures must be built by workmen. All inside rooms must be built on foundations and once completed any indoors indoor items can be placed there. can be placed in there. When you designate an area for construction, the building materials are automatically ordered. Materials are delivered by trucks down the main road, most likely this thing, To the delivery zone, southwest uh, delivery zone. The materials are then collected by workmen to be placed around the airport. Any spare materials, such as uncancelled projects, are put into storage. Hire at least six workmen in total. Available staff and staff of HP. Yeah. Like this over here. Workman. Okay. Confirm. From the build menu, you can select construction, then select foundation. Not sure what a tool, not sure what a tool or object is. You can hover over it for description. You will need to wait for the workers to build it. Speed up time with the controls in the top right corner of the screen, or by pressing the one, two, three buttons for speeds and space to pause. Drag the foundation over the stripped area next to the departure land. Make the mistake, left click the project to cancel before the workman begin. So they're asking me to put No. Floors, no. Okay, so I need to do this. So, over the striped area next to the departure lounge. Okay. So uh, we will have the the workmen will come in. They'll go through security. time to the, so that they can get there quicker for a moment and then I'll have to go back then. There we go. And now they're starting to build. I'll have to speed up time a little bit until they're done. Okay, so they're done. Uh, 
That was the scraped area. Oh, you know what? I messed up. See, that's what happens when you zoomed out too far. Okay. And on day two, not only you can cancel a project during construction by left clicking it, but you can also remove the foundation you to demolish. Yes, yeah, so like, uh, where is the demolish? Demolish. So let's get. Or dismantle. And the inside. Anyway. Or if you accidentally misplace the mount, just use the clear tool. Not which certain. Clear which tool to use. Last step to auto detect the remove tool. You can increase. Or to de or decrease the workers' priority of the, of the project in the left click menu. Passengers have needs. Passengers needs and zoning. Passengers have needs such as hunger, bladder, or boredom. Our airport currently deals with the bladder needs, but the restrooms dealing with these arrays. Our passenger satisfaction levels, which will improve our chances of getting better airline contracts. An arcade should help our passengers feel less bored. To do this, we need to zone an area for it. Zones are designated areas where passengers, staff, can use certain facilities and objects. You can toggle the zone visualizations. Find the zones panel and fill the new area with an arcade zone. Okay, so zone arcade. Okay. How to fix the problem? How to fix problems? Anytime a room has a problem, it will turn red. Hover over it to see what it needs. Most issues are either most issues are either it is not. Sorry about that. Most issues are either it is the wrong size or it is missing objects. Press R or the middle mouse to, to rotate an object. Right click. On a place object to cancel or delete it. Fix the problems of the arcade until it's functional. So it must be accessible directly or via door at at least one arcade game. So Objects. Door. Okay, and let's put that object over here toward the center. Okay. And let's search arcade, and we have a bunch of things down. 
Put one of those down. Oh. Those down. Those down. And one of those. And that time and the truck delivered the parts okay so downtime again airports can be frustrating for passengers a humble plant is sometimes what's needed to cheer them up <laughs> That is a typo. That's not me. That's a typo. Tear them up. Scenery can be found in the build menu under objects and decor. You can also change the floor design. You can use the environmental heat maps to see most appealing, the most appealing areas in your airport. The environmental overlay. Look for objects. Objects. The car. And. Let's put a plant. Put the plant right over there. Okay, next. Other. Other heat. Other heat maps are useful as well. Information heat maps. That's where passengers get the latest updates on their flight. Okay. Place in pro displays and kiosks to help passengers keep track or else they'll miss their flight. So. Info displays. I think we'll put one over here. And, uh, yes. Light intro chaos. That, oh, wait a second, there is, they already have an intro display. Cancel project. Okay. They already have an intro display. Okay. You see, I thought this is telling me things it needs. We don't have any planes. In order to get the plane, fixing the broken plane stand. We don't have any planes. In order to get the planes, we need to working plan stand connected to a taxiway and the side of the gate sign a gate agent desk. And tips. In the build menu, you, you can search gates or taxiway to quickly find them. Yes, I know. I've already told that search option. Once built, Click either the stand or the desk to assign them to each 
Okay. Requires at least one gate agent. Ew. Okay. Uh. Do, 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 do. Uh. Construction. Taxi way. Like that. Okay. The taxi way is dealt with. And it requires uh, a gate agent down. Gate agent. Desk. And it, uh, okay. So that is working. Okay, so we're gonna speed this up so that they get it done faster. Doing a tough speed, I don't see anything going on. Let's see what's that. Okay, yes. Um. Fine. Uh, I think. Do we have a gate agent? Retail worker. We have three staff. Oh, you know what? We need a third. We need another one. Let's hire another staff. And assign it. Improve efficiency, all boarding desks to have queues. Build six queues. And then drag out a new queue from the closed, from close to the gate, from close to the gate. Think, see the pink area. Then on the click on the gate, or the queue to assign them to each other. Uh, so uh, is that a zone? That was a queue. Extend Q. Okay. No, no, no. Now let's try this again. There we go. 
Go to the sign of Q for the gate. So let's have that. Is that Q not built? Now. And here I did that. Did I do something wrong? Here's us do this again. Let's Maybe I was supposed to start it from over here and then over here. Okay, I already did that. I don't know what's going on. So let's get that. Now that we have the working plane stand, we need planes to attract new departing passengers and to land arriving passengers. On the flight status screen, E, you see that there are currently no planes. Yes! Hmm. <clears throat> In our, open up the flight management. Where you'll see available airline contracts with daily flights. We can only support small planes in the morning, which can be filtered on up top. Let's small plane. Um. Okay. In order to get P in place, you will need to click on your runway and add lights to the upgrade menu. Upgrades menu. Accept and schedule two available flights. I only see one. Oh, one for AM and one for early running. Okay. Okay. So that's. I don't understand. Ah, okay. Valid. Oh, that was after noon. Okay. To get the early morning, I need to do... Close. Click on my runway. Upgrade. Runway. Right. 
Right. I hope. Is that something that's going to be built? Hello? Psycho under construction. Well, let's do there. They go. There they go. And now I can go light management accept and next. Lane's usually start arriving. Next day after they first in the sign, so you may not see any today. It's up to you to figure out how best to balance your schedule. Too crowded, you make your you make your airport chaotic. Please satisfaction. Too quiet, the airport may not be profitable. Also, at the top of the screen, you can hover uh, over the airline interest and passenger satisfaction. For details, clicking on them gives you more options. These two screens will help you determine how you need to improve your airport for future airlines and passengers. Future airlines and passengers. I thought it was a passenger service. It just abruptly ended at passengers. At the top, you can also see the weather. This will affect how safe it is when to land. You can click on the runway to upgrade it. Add devices to make them safer. This allows planes to land in a condition. Becoming a successful tycoon. More importantly, we need to make a profit. The finance hub has. Uh, uh, has various operations, including taking out loans, which is useful if you're low on cash. For quickness, you can also hover your balance at the top of the screen for a brief overview. Okay. Unfortunately, some operations are locked. Usually, you'll need a specialist staff or research. Specialist staff or research. As I was going to say, research staff, I'm trying to read ahead. As usual, hover over a problem to see what's required. If you're missing a staff member that you cannot hire, check the research screen. You might need to unlock them first, keeping up with research is important for staying competitive. Hey, because what's also important is to your balance is your prices. In the commercial operations screen, you can adjust the prices you charge. Remember, low prices increases airline satisfaction, but high prices increase profits at the that is the basics of running an airport. Feel free to expand this airport or try a new airport. It's recommended that you try playing the start the whole starter airport and complete the other tutorials before creating an airport for scratch. Okay.
Well, I think that is it for the first tutorial. We just completed, completed the, ba the basics. I think uh, I'm going to put an end to this video because otherwise this video is going to be enormous and uh, uh, most likely it will end up making it a series. So if you like this video, hit that like button, share it on social media as well. I know this from me as a user that my likes are not always going to social media so um, make sure that you're sharing it with friends and family and uh, if you want to see more i subscribe and also that i nor normally stream about five times a week not this type of game. This type of game is not the type of game I stream, but I stream action games, I stream RPG role-playing games, I stream strategy games, I stream survival sandbox games, all different types of games. And so you can find me on Twitch. So that's where I do most of my streaming. The link to that should be down below. Anyway, I think that is all for now. Have a great day, everyone. This is Open World Addict out.